So here's the question, guys. Um, I've got a particularly uh, complex mold, I would say, and it, it's very narrow here. It widens up, and then it gets a little narrow, and then it gets really thin back here in the tail. So um, I've been trying. This one's been. This has been a vacuum mold. So, um, but I still get some. Some little areas where where the vacuum isn't sucking it down into the corners. So there's just little issues. Little, I mean, they're really it's pretty minor uh, things. You know, that definitely can be fixed. Uh, you know, you you would uh, putty it up and and uh, you know it's really for the for you guys that are buying the kit. And this is just areas that, that generally always uh, need to be. You know, re, uh, you just hit it with a bondo or something, and then sand it, and then paint it. You're going to paint it anyway. So, um, but uh, the problem with vacuum bagging is you end up with these two halves, and then you need to. Um, well, what you do is you you you'd put in um, fiberglass, a one inch fiberglass strip here. They call it wet seaming. So you'd you'd scuff this up. And wet it, and then put in, you know wet up some a fiberglass piece of tape or strip, and lay it in there, and then it would set up. So you, I'd put one here, and here, and then a little one here, and a long strip here. But I can't go too much past this because it just gets so thin back here. A little a little piece you know kind of like here is where I would buffer it up um, and then it becomes really difficult to then what you're supposed to do is kind of you kind of like you put the strips you put the strips here and here on this side and then you would on the other side here you would put it here and here and then you kind of put them like this and then just sort of drag it that way and that would it so this one would Actually, you should have dragged it the other way. So I would do this. If I put if I put the strips here on this side, I would do that and drag it that way. And then you reach inside there and you you reach inside and you you kind of make sure that that tape is nice and solid on both sides. It is a well for one it, it adds a bunch of steps. So I vacuum bag both halves in order to try to reduce how much of these these voids that I'm getting. Uh, I was trying to vacuum bag it. Um, and then, and then you've got to demold it, take it out of the mold, trim it up, and then wet seam it to, to add it together. What if, just, just what if, oh, by the way, I wanted to show you how, how freaking narrow it is down in there. It's really narrow. I don't know if you can see that. It really gets narrow down there toward the, the tail. So, but what if... I made a bladder. So I, I have a little a balloon, if you want to call it a balloon. A balloon, a little valve stem right here, because I got a nice hole poking through. And then maybe a another valve stem there. I don't who which which doesn't matter which side I'm gonna do. But basically, and then basically right here is where I'm I'm finishing up with the wet seam anyway. What if I just stopped with the balloon? And this is all going to be wet here, and I'm only adding five or ten psi to this balloon. What if this, that silicone fabric and all that epoxy, it's all nice and wet, and I've got a nice seam here where I'm seaming it together. You know, I you put a bead of uh, of epoxy um, before, you know, with some filler before you. That's what you marry it together with, and then that. That uh, one inch strip of uh, fiberglass tape, you know, it's all wet and it's mashed up against this. And then, but there's a bead of uh, on both sides of the, on both halves of the um, of the mold, you put a bead all, you know, basically all the way around the whole kit uh, before you marry it together. So you want to get that that tape nice and wet and get everything nice and wet. Well, guess what? It's all nice and wet. And uh, isn't it? kind of a little bit 
waterproof or not waterproof? I mean, I'm not going to use water, but I mean, uh, isn't it um, airtight, let's say? So if I fill this part, this compart compartment here, but just literally cut it open right there uh, so that I can remove it, I got to pull it back out after I've, after I've expanded this thing. Then I need to pull this thing back out and, and through these, these exit holes. So what if I just leave this open? And then the air that's filling here is pressing against the literally on the fiber, um, the you know, the fiberglass and the and that bead of, you know, and I've got these, you know, I've got bolted together, so they're, you know, it's holding solid. What if I do that? And then and then what I'm getting is I'm getting a, a, a an inner tube to push here, and push into these corners, down you know down into here. If I can mash that down nice and tight, it's basically doing the same thing as a vacuum. Just instead of vacuum, I'm uh, putting air in. So the idea is to mash it into these corners, mash it into the nose, mash it into here. Now this is a little bit complicated in that it's got two little two steps here, but I think the uh, the inner tube or or the uh, the balloon will push on that and, and, uh, and push that in too. Anyway, that's the experiment. I'm going to try to do that. I think what it'll do is it'll, it'll remove one whole step because I'll be able to wet seam this all together. I just basically, I put my inner tube inside here and I, and I bolt this together. Well, I, you know, I put my, my, uh, my gel in here. My, um, some people call it splooge. Um, but basically the epoxy, put the bead of epoxy around here, I put my tape here, and then I've got my balloon inside the, inside there, so it's gonna push on the tape, it's gonna push on the splooge, like that, and then I, and I bolt it all together so that it's got resistance, that inner tube's got something to push against, um, and then just get a really slight, you know, five or 10 pound PSI uh, with a bicycle pump pump this up with five or 10 PSI of uh, air. Now, it'll eventually escape out of here, so I don't want to put a lot of PSI, because uh, I don't want to just like finding an air pocket and <laughs> squirting out of here. Um, but I don't think it's gonna do that. Uh, anyway, that's the idea, that's what I think I'm gonna give it a try. See what you think.